Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies and today we're going to look at the new spot on bow. But before we do that, it's a bigger day um, because it's Hoyt's, Hoyt Archery's unveiling of their new flagship bow. And they've got some cool things out which I want to talk about. Um, so I want to hit on that first before I show you the new spot on bow. And this is the new spot on shirt. You'll notice the logo looks very much like Marla, which is amazing. Um, now the Spawn On really like colourful clothes and like this shirt has been provided by Spawn On for me. Um, it's the Trader Yellow. So in Australia all, trademen, all tradesmen need yellow. Um, it's a requirement under our work and safety. And this is obviously the yellow. I could choose between pink, yellow or a light blue. They were my colour options. So I chose the Trader Yellow. So anyway, so the new Hoyt's about to be released. And are you excited as I am because I am really excited. Um, and I've got some quotes here from top archers around the world about how they feel about the new Hoyt. So Mike Scholzer, world champion. This is the this is the all-round best feeling bow I've ever shot. That sounds pretty good. The consistency, forgiveness, and tunability is off the charts. That's Sebastian Penne, another world champion. I don't know how many world champions we are have, but um, George Riles, he's a um, US national champion. I'm shocked by the improvement gains Hoyt have made. I'm shocked too and I haven't even seen it. Because I, honestly, in like five, in 15 years, I haven't seen that many improvements. So I'm going to be absolutely shocked. Um, so I'm getting really excited by this. Um, I'm a bit disappointed for the people who used to shoot Hoyt. Um, I'm trying to think of their names. Jesse Broadwater, because he's now shooting Matthews, and Rio Wild, who's now shooting Matthews. So, based on their quotes, they're going to be really bloody pissed off, right? Uh, <laughs> um, Tony Tazza, he's a IBO 3D champion. I'm not having goes at them. This bow is a game changer. Um, Linda from, she's a world champion also. One look, one shot says it all. This is big statements. I've never had a bow aim this steady. I don't know how your other bows aim. To me, they all aim pretty much the same, but. Um, PJ Deluch, another world champion. Like, world champion. I, like, what does it take to be a world champion? I thought there's a world championship every, is it two years? Lots of world champions. Um, every single detail has been perfected. So what's he saying? Was there problems before? Or is there just a new colour? Maybe they've gone for the fluoro yellow. I'm not having to go at you. I just think, like... Um, Chris Schoff, he's a world champion. How many world champions have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So far. But wait, there's more. This bow flat out shoots. Chris Shelf. Another world champion. I don't I don't even know, like seriously, how can there be so many world champions? So smooth and so sweet. And everyone has shot this bow. And this is an unveiling of the new spot on bow that no one's even seen and I don't even remember, right? So, um, Toja Ellison, world champion. That's, I don't know how many world champions. He or she is blown away. Um, Tate Morgan, another world champion. So shooter friendly, so awesome. How is there so many world champions? Um... Donnie Thacker, 3D, ASA 3D champion. This bow has a huge sweet spot. I assume that means a big valley. So there's a big valley, I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay, Steve Anderson. We know who Steve is. He's a big tall bloke. Um, he's a world champion. I have never shot anything like this before. Okay. I don't know what, I can't even imagine what it is, because to me, most bows shoot pretty similar. So, now Sarah Lopez, 
I absolutely know she is a world champion. Absolutely no question about it. She's a world champion in the female compound category. So she's in love, which is great for her. Just when you when you have that whole love thing, you fall in a, in a hole and you fall in massive depression. That's a bit unfortunate. So hopefully it works out for her. So congratulations, Sarah, on you being in love. Um, it's good being young and not bitter like me um, when you get older. So... And the last one is Paul Tedford um, from Reading. Um, he's a NFFA Mark 3D champion. This bow is so impressive. Right, so with that, that's the Hoyt new bow. They're the big words. So I don't know if it's going to come in a black box um, like it did last year because that was impressive, the black box. I love the black box. So these are the new spot on bows. Now with the new spot on bow, what I was looking for was a kid's bow that's affordable and they gave me a whole bunch of options. They said, what do you want? Do you want good quality limbs or cheaper limbs? Do you want good quality cams or cheaper cams? Now, honestly, I think I probably chose the cheaper options because I wanted to keep the price point down. Um, and they said, do you want some cool graphics or do you want some crappy, crappy gap graphics? And I said, well, actually, I want really cool graphics because I think graphics will sell the bow. And they said, what do you want to call the bow? I said, stuff if I know, but I need a really cool name because that's important. And I need some really cool quotes. Actually, I didn't know about the really cool quotes before. So with that, let's do an unboxing and check out this cool bow. And let's hope it comes in some cool colors. Um, and let's hope you get a free t-shirt with it. Okay, so as I read all those quotes from Hoyt, you know, like this is the best bow I've ever shot. I'm thinking to myself, well, have you, have you actually shot a PSE bow before? And I thought I'd better not say that because Hoyt shooters will get really angry with me. Um, and then I had a few other thoughts as well, but I thought, well, I'm going to get enough hate mail already. But let's just see if, if the improvements are as big as they sound, because I'm going to say there's, some, there's a couple of Hoyt shooters who, there's one in my state, uh, I'm not going to call out his name, but he was a Hoyt sponsored shooter and he's no longer a Hoyt sponsored shooter and he's changed to another company. So he's going to be really bloody disappointed when this new bow comes out that is like nothing he's ever shot before and this bow is so impressive. He's going to be really disappointed with that. And we expect Hoyt to win every tournament from now on with this really impressive bow. Anyway, that's this is the spot on bow. I mean, and my thing is, like, I kind of make jokes of this because it gets back to the archer. Everything is back to the archer, how much you practice and how much work you put in. Um, and like I said, the improvements tend to be only a little bit every year. So, and I understand the whole sales thing, but for me, it's like, you know, it's nice. Anyway, new spot on, not a black box. I think the black box costs $3 more and I didn't want to spend $3 on the black box. But I did go for the, well, we did go for the coloured target at the end. So, inside the box. Inside the box is this bow. Um, some cool graphics in blue. You'll see the um, dog in the background, like in a star formation. The bow is adjustable here on the side. Because in my reviews before, I said people need to have statistics information clearly available to them so what we put here is from 15 to 45 pounds it's a kid's bow the draw length is adjustable from 21 to 27 inches and it's a 70 percent let off um, now it's got some cool little sayings on the back here enrich your life lifetime enrich your lifetime did we get the english translation wrong probably um Help the generation accomplish, accomplish great archery dreams. Um, and we called it the Hawk. So, okay, so the, the limb systems. So we had, like I said, we had a couple of options with limbs. We had the option of a cheap Chinese limb or the American um, Gordon Glass limb. And I originally thought I went for the cheap Chinese limb um, because I think the dip price difference was $10. Um, but now I look at this limb and I think this is a Gordon Glass limb um, because it's the same thickness all the way up. Then I had the choice of a cast cam or a machine cam. Now the difference in price there was also $10. Um, and I thought I chose a cast cam. Now I'm just going to zoom up here. And you can see this is clearly machined. 
um, machined out so the edges are basically so it comes from a block. Now this is rotating modules to change the draw length just there so this this here is what it stops on here so basically it's really simple to adjust the draw length I haven't seen this bow before but two screws it unwinds um, you can see here the the limb pocket itself is enclosed inside the riser and you can see how much thread you've got left to make the adjustment there and all bows should really feature this metal adjustment just thing there so that way you can see how, my, how far you can adjust out the bow and when you wind out the bow basically this moves so it basically doesn't strip out the riser so I really like that feature um, two, two little um, holes here for your RRS and the reason you have two is if you're shooting fingers you might want to put a plunger button in one hole and screw the RRS onto the second hole there so if you're using the two holes that one there is where the RRS bolts on and this is for your plunger button if you just bolt in one RRS on it goes onto the one spot um, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to tell you what else comes in the kit because actually I don't know and you're gonna ask me how much this sells for I'm gonna say I don't know because I saw this like six months ago when they were designing it um, and I really forgot about it to be honest because it sat on a container ship for two three months and it took three months to build the thing um, okay Okay, so the string system to start with, it's a full string system, so it's a yoke system. This is pretty much like you see in the Hoyt system connection, Hoyt um, cable, so it's a yoke system to balance the limbs. Um, we'll just check what else is in the box. Okay, so the kit comes with a three pin sight, two piece bow quiver. Um, it comes with an arrow rest. So basically all you need is some arrows. And you either need a D loop for shooting with a release aid or to put some um, finger savers on their string for if you're going to shoot with fingers. Now I haven't shot this bow and we will do a full review on it later. Um, it feels like it weighs probably, it's not in the lighter end of town with bows. I'm going to say it feels like a Mission Menace as far as physical weight. Um, it comes in colours, like colour colours. I'm pretty sure I've got blue, red. Obviously it comes in camo. I'm pretty sure I've got black. It, I did have the options of all the colours, but you've got to order so many of them. Um, so I've definitely got blue, red, black and camo. Um, so let's just try the draw cycle out and let's hope it doesn't blow up. Oh. So there's absolutely no cam lean at all. Um, now this rod here is held in place by little screws which are underneath the sticker here. Um, It's a very solid wall when you get back. The grip itself, it's very much like a Matthews grip like that you'll see on the Craze or the um, Craze or the Genesis. It's front stabilizer there, sight goes on there. Not too bad. Now you're going to ask me how much is this going to sell for, I'm going to say I've got no idea because I can't remember what I paid for it. Um, I'm going to guess, if you're okay for me to guess, I'm going to guess I'm, I'm, I'm going to have this at a good price. So I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess a price point where it's below everything else in the market. So the PSE Mini Burner sells for 360 with the same accessories. Um, the Mission Manor sells for around the three. Probably even around, oh, it's probably around 450 with no accessories. Um, the Bear Apprentice sells for probably around the four 400s. This is Australian dollars. Um, so I'm going to guess 
this is going to sell for around 200 so about half what anything else is now the question is is it half as good as the other bows on the market um, machine riser good limb pockets good limbs machine limbs now a lot of those other bows do not have those features so I think this bow will shoot well um, I'm, I'd like to compare the physical weight of it compared to those other bows but to me I think this is a I'm in love um, I'm blown away about by the value of this bow um, I'm very happy with the detail being put into this bow um, as far as the American limbs, the machined cams, the rotating modules the cables, very happy with the balanced yoke system on the cables um, I think the draw cycle is very smooth and sweet as said by Sergio um, I think this is a bit of a game changer um, for youth archery, getting kids into the sport. Um, one look, one shot says it all. Um, I don't know how this bow aims, but I think it will be pretty good. Um, I'm shocked by the improvement gains in this bow. I, I really am. Um, I think for me there was a big hole in the market for cheap affordable kids compound bows and I'm not talking about the crap plastic ones you know where you got plastic limbs, plastic riser, plastic cams and cables for strings and things I hate those bows I hate them I hate them I hate them and people say why do you sell them it's like I've got no other option in making this bow affordable and I'm hoping it is affordable because to me that is the whole crux of this bow making a kids bow affordable making a bow that's suitable for clubs that clubs can basically give to you know under 15 year olds shorter ladies as opposed to your six foot ladies um or shorter men um that's what i wanted and i'm very very happy with what that produced with this bow um so with that, and there's a compass there in case you get lost. Um, so with that, that was the latest thing. We've also got a target bag we need to test out in this latest shipment that's just come in today. 40 foot container of bows and bits. Um, so that's the new spot on, spot on hawk that I haven't shot yet. And this is my first sighting of the bow. But I like the little marks there on the limbs just so you can see how far out you've adjusted it. These limb pockets remind me of the Matthews a lot. Um, they are plastic. Um, you did have the option of machined limb pockets, but I thought, I think the machine was, was about $15 more. And I thought for a 45 pound bow, you don't really need the machine limb pockets. So yeah. So with that, I'm pretty happy with that. It feels really good. So the next review we do of this will be, we're actually shooting and see how well I can shoot this thing at 18 meters set up so even at the 27 inch draw length how well i can shoot this at at 18 meters i think will be pretty critical and what sort of speeds i can get out of this because for kids speed and be able to shoot distance is is vitally important it's no use having a heavy fiberglass arrow and the arrow bounces out the target um so i'm hoping this bow is priced right um to get kids into the sport so we get rid of all that junk bows um that shoot like garbage and the kids shoot like garbage and they give up the sport two two weeks later so anyway that's um spot on hawk um i like it let's hope it shoots good because i really like the draw cycle um so the valley so it's kind of peaking 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 valley valley there like the valley is very short so i reckon this will be I reckon this bow will be pretty quick but you've got quite a big brace height here and that brace height will make the bow forgiving to shoot so make it easier for the kids to draw back and to shoot with a small valley I like the small valley and 70% let off with the small valley I reckon will make this bow easy to shoot so I'm interested to have a go at that so I'm sorry if I offended any Hoyt things I was just basically I was just making light of stuff so 
Send me all the hate emails now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Stephen Ham from Archery Supplies. Enjoy your archery. Thanks for watching. Bye.